just too many problems with the 2024 Tacoma to actually buy one. Is this really true? There have been some reported problems. The biggest one that I know of, of course, is from the TFL guys. You know, they had a driveline problem. Sounds to me like it's a component part of the differential, the front differential, that is designed to give way should there be too much pressure on the driveline so that you don't destroy the rest of the driveline. Now, it's not such a bad thing, but if it's too sensitive, which is the case, I think, in, in this instance, uh, then it can be a bad thing. I mean, you would much rather have a component break, which by the way, if that is the case, it should be easily replaceable, right? But you'd rather have that break than have your whole drive line messed up, right? I think they just put something in that's not strong enough. So hopefully it's an easy fix. They can take care of it. Unfortunately, any four by fours out there that had this component in them is going to be susceptible to this problem and there should be some sort of a recall for it if that indeed is the issue we shall see the other thing i've heard about recently are the shutters in the front it has shutters that open and close i'm guessing to control the engine temperature if the temperature starts to get too high they open up provide more air if it's too low they close up provide less air might have something to do with heating and cooling as well, I'm not quite sure. But I have heard reports of those shutters uh, actually getting stuck. Well, you don't want that to happen, right? Because you do need some airflow in your engine compartment. Hopefully that's a simple thing. Maybe it's just a sensor or something. I haven't heard what the remedy is for that yet. And there is one more thing I've heard. Uh, they're starting to stack up now, I guess some engine lights or not engine lights but some gauge cluster lights check engine other things eh, i don't know for sure about those yet those are purely rumors i haven't really seen any evidence yet but there have been enough of them that i think yeah it probably is true there probably is some sort of engine gauge check engine light whatever problem i don't know what that could be hopefully it's just a bad sensor thing we shall see but is any of that enough to not buy the Toyota Tacoma? It might be enough to cause a pause until Toyota gets it under control, comes up with a, a fix. Now, on the driveline thing, if you're buying a two-wheel drive, I know it's like sacrilege to buy a two-wheel drive Tacoma. But if you are, then of course, you don't have that problem because you don't have all the extra parts up there as part of the 4x4 system. A good reason to buy the two-wheel drive, I guess, at least right now if you're in the market for a 2024 Tacoma. Otherwise, I might give it a pause on the 4x4s until Toyota has a fix for that. Because obviously, as I mentioned, they'll have to bring them back in. They'll have to change out that part that's too sensitive uh, to have a fix. Of course, going forward in the manufacturing line, they'll have to use the corrected front differentials. Now, could that mean there's going to be yet another delay? You know, we had a delay with the Tacoma first off because of the EPA certificates. They couldn't get them right away. The government was holding them back due to, I believe, California requirements. It always seems to be California that holds everybody back, right? That was resolved, obviously, because 2024 Tacomas are being sold. However, it's going to take time if the problem is this part for the company i'm assuming it's not toyota that it's a third party but for that company to come up with the right part or a more robust part to make it right we shall see i don't know it shouldn't slow down any of the two-wheel drives though because as mentioned they don't have that part now for me is it enough not to buy anybody who watches my channel knows i am in the market for the 2024 Tacoma. I'm in the market and that when one comes up and if the numbers are right, I'm gonna switch out and get one, most likely. Still got this in the back of my mind about eh, maybe holding on to the third gen and just doing a whole new build. I don't know, we'll see. But I am leaning probably 90% towards getting the 2024. I have mentioned that the trim level that I want is the Sport and I'm also probably 90% percent 
looking at a 4x2. I don't need a 4x4, so in my case, this problem that they're having with the front differential is not going to be an issue at all. So I'm not worried about that. The other things, eh, I gotta think that Toyota's gonna take care of those anyway, so by the time I actually find a truck or have access to a truck uh, with the specs that I want, that it's not gonna be any kind of an issue for me. We also have warranty, obviously, so anything that's out there that can be a problem is gonna be taken care of. That's no different than any other time. It seems sometimes like folks that are, for some reason, overly against this new model, or this new redesign, want you to think that there's no warranty and no remedy for it. Well, that's simply not true. So, we've got the new ones out there. They are released. They are being delivered. I heard from someone on the channel just recently that they're seeing truckloads of them show up. So they are going to be more available. I would imagine that within the next, oh, I don't know, maybe month or two, something like that, I'll actually be able to put my hands on a truck. We shall see. Again, I'm being very particular. I want a specific color, one of four colors, red, orange, blue, or that underground kind of pastel gray color. So I should be able to put my hands on one of those. I see there are some at least allocated or scheduled to be coming in around the area here. I don't know, we shall see. Uh, as far as anything else, very basic is what I'm looking for. Obviously, I want to do mods and things to it, so I don't want to buy a truck that already has everything done. A lot of people have told me, oh, you should buy a top of the line, whatever you buy. Doesn't make a lot of sense for somebody who makes their living doing mods and experiencing the new truck. Uh, well, but doing mods primarily, to have a truck that's got everything on it and already complete. Just not something that I'm going to be interested to do. Now, my advice for anybody out there who's in the market who doesn't use it for business purposes, as I do, I would hold off for two reasons. One, let these latest little issues in Gremlin shake out. I mean, we knew it was going to have some problems, right? It's a brand new redesign. Heck, you can look at the 2022 and 2023s that are on a recall right now. Doesn't necessarily matter whether it's brand new or one that's been around for a while, right? This recall affects my current truck, I think. Haven't been notified yet, technically, so I'm not exactly sure. Second reason is, if you're not buying them, it provides more inventory for me to buy one, right? I'm kidding, but it is a selfish, uh, a selfish want, I must admit. Anyway, leave a comment, let me know. Do the things that have been happening recently, do they scare you away from the new Tacoma? Or you can appreciate there's going to be issues, you have warranty, and all you're gonna lose is a little bit of time sitting in the shop waiting for it to be repaired. Leave a comment, let me know. Thanks for watching, stay safe out there, bye.